So, I have no idea what the heck just happened here, but my recording just went... <clears throat> and then... <laughs> so... I'm not going to start over. I have not gotten too far. But I made a custom kingdom. Here are my stats and everything. And the biggest difference between this playthrough and other playthroughs is I'm playing on Legendary Difficulty this time. I wonder if it'll show it here. Yeah. I think it does show it here. Yep. Le difficulty Legendary. So right now I'm working towards an alliance with Nagai. I want to get an alliance up with them. Maybe get an alliance up with Kazan too. And then we're going to team up against Uzbek and hopefully... Hopefully I can grab Astana because that would be a big boost to my economy. I should also be cautious of my other neighbors in case they try to attack me. I guess a tower in Karame and a tower in Sarkhan would be good. Yeah, that's the issue with such a small economy, is it's hard to build things. And by the way, the Majabha hit video. Let's just say things with an editor did not work out. And so, unfortunately, that series is over. And Stellaris is still continuing. I just want to wait until my capture card comes because I want to start some PlayStation 3 videos. I have a capture card ordered. And it's going to be amazing when it finally arrives. Suddenly, there's troops on my border. I wonder if Uzbek is preparing to invade me. I hope not. They hate Nagai more, so they may not invade me. They may invade Nagai first. The only territory I don't have information on is this one, but I don't think it matters that much. And we have an inland sea here. That's gonna be interesting. Alright, let's just go ahead and build up some money. So, I don't know why there were... The recording just goofed for whatever reason. I think my antivirus was a. did a quick scan. And it stopped the recording. The recording disappeared, and it started a new one, which was completely broken, and. thankfully I didn't get too far and I noticed it, but. I have no idea what happened.
But my plan, again, to ally in a guy, possibly Kazan, and we're all gonna invade Uzbek together. I'm just hoping I can alliance up with the guy before it all happens. Kazan looks like it's in a war. Ah! Well, I think that helps our uh, situation with the Oriat. They're willing to be peaceful, at least, for now. So at least you don't have to worry about an invasion from that side. And only God. Kazan must have done something to piss everyone off. Holy crap. Well, looks like Kazan's not uh, gonna join us in the war. They're probably about to get wrecked. Oh yeah, they're getting wrecked right now as we speak. Alright, well, hi, Perm. Oh, you're a puppet to Muscovy. Hmm. I think Muscovy may have been involved in Dan's downfall. If I can get Muscovy on this, my side, that would be great. God rip Kazan. They got absolutely slaughtered. Maybe I can form an alliance with the Uriat. Probably a lot easier to be honest. We could probably take on the check tie, which gives a little bit more power against Uzbek.
Let's make sure Mongolia fails. Well, it looks like the Oriad's gonna win that war. Alright, let's get a standing army. Wow, that was actually a pretty cool war. I even participated a tiny bit. And now the Orat becomes more powerful and I have a more powerful ally. I don't think we're ready for an alliance though yet. Probably gonna need a lot more.
Muscovy has a lot of puppets. They must be having a really good early game. Let's give these having a blast. Oh, they went to war with Perm. Okay. We are very close to getting this alliance. I think just another few turns and we've got it. There we go. Bam. I now have an alliance with the Uriat. Now we can probably go to war with the Chagtai.
Here we go. See if this works. This is actually going quite well. I'm surprised. No, come on. Really? They're probably going to attack me from behind. Knowing the AI. Thanks a lot, ally. That could have been all my territory.
could have had a lot more territory. That could have gone better. Lower this for happiness sake. Well, we got some territory now. <sighs> no, please don't do this, Oriette. Gosh dang it. Hang on. I apologize for that. Let me also... I apologize for that. Go ahead, assimilate that territory first, and then we'll assimilate the other territory. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Let us see. I don't know how much. Oh, I just realized we got another armory from this. That's actually really good. And there we go. Now then, let's go ahead and focus on the happiness part. I could have had a lot more territory if my ally didn't leave this front open and take a lot of territory that I wanted. I am aggravated. But that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, and this is legendary, so <sighs> I'm gonna have to expect a lot of stuff like that.
take this territory when we get the chance. Yeah, it means we're going to have an exclave, but if it means we get a little bit more power, then it's worth it. Ooh. If we can go to war with Shagatai again and make our way down here to Yarkand, to Ladakh, there's a massive power base down here we can work for. All right, looks like I'm moving south. Let's make sure happiness in this territory reaches 100% before we raise taxes. I think in this next war I'll fight Chagatai alone. I should. Or should. Be able to face them. I think we should maybe think about becoming a monarchy, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I think becoming a monarchy would be our best bet. I think we'd get a lot more out of it.
All right. Now we're getting more money. All right, well, it looks like research has been going. It's been 178 turns, though. Yeah. God damn it, I fucked up. Ah! I hope this does not end my game! I did not expect them to put all their troops there. I've got to take a butt ton of loans now.
points, but yet they're gonna focus on me because I'm apparently the bigger threat. I hope I don't get no territory out of this because that's gonna piss me off. Oh my god. I want to get something out of this, please. Please, no. Get nothing out of this. Once to bet Oriat's now gonna eat it, they're gonna eat it all. I'm not gonna, I can't even go to war later to get more, any territory because they're just gonna eat it all. Oh my god. <sighs> mm. I lost so much and gained nothing out of that. I'm going to pause the recording because antivirus is scanning. All right. Where's... Oh, they are me. There they are. I'm going to take care of Dale. I might migrate my empire to the south. A lot of potential, a lot of territory. And I'm gonna turn down my goods and turn down my research because I need the money. <sighs> Spent so much for that war just for it to go not the way I wanted it to. And Uzbek has just become more powerful. The Timurids have just become more powerful. My only hope is to form a union with the Orat. Yeah. <sighs> 
So if this is going to be a fortress, it's going to be an absolute pain to bust through. Should be paying off my loans at some point, right? Yeah, we've got about 11 turns. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and start paying off. Let's go ahead and start paying off these loans. We've got most of our loans repaid. Alright, cool. Alright, that was actually a s simple war. Bam. There we go. Caradell is now ours. Come on. I hate doing this. So, this is a bug where people who have lost a war sometimes just straight up continuously deny the peace deal or just completely ignore it and you have to reload your save in order to fix it it wa it wastes a turn and I hate it all right Alright, I want to go to war with Yarkand now. There are no troops? What? There is no way those 200 troops killed my entire army. Where did my... The disappearing army bug. I just encountered two bugs right in a row. 
I don't know why your army just suddenly disappears like that. I don't see any reason how it would disappear. Alright. My only hope is to be able to form a union with the Urat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did it. Alright, we want out in the end. We managed to get a union. But that doesn't mean things are going to get any easier. We should probably begin pulling our army together. Alright. This is a good place to end it. At least something good happened during this playthrough. And look at that, 20,000 gold. That's going to be enough to... We're probably going to make our conquest down into India and stuff. Because there are a lot of easy nations down here to take care of. And then we'll probably go to war with Uzbek at some point. The Ming is going to be a big problem. Because it looks like the Koreans and the uh, other nations around them did not kill them. And we can also begin putting some money towards that. And we can lower our taxes for the rest of the game because we now are going to make enough gold to not have to worry about that. And... We've got a lot of territory to work towards. We could probably kill off Mongolia now. Yeah, I think Mongolia is going to be killed off, but... Somehow we've put off! Somehow we've put off, uh, uniting with the Orat. Hopefully, things go blip. This is good. But this was a stressful play. This was a stressful first episode for me. I think that's the most stressful I've ever had been in a game of Age of History. But yeah. Well, on this video here. Hope you enjoyed the next. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time. Peace.